Perhaps you've uh, gone into the asset library in Godot. Let's see how fast my internet is. It is not fast. Well, and you've typed in, oh, I don't know, uh, B tree, so behavior tree. Well, because you're interested in getting, uh, doing behavior trees. And you pretty much have these three to choose from. Yet another behavior tree, event-driven behavior tree, and behave behavior tree. I've tried all three of them. Can't get understand ha all three of them. One of them at least doesn't work, but these are specific to Godot 4.1. So you look at behave because it's got a pretty beehive picture. Um, powerful add-on. This is what it looks like. All right, so let's view the files. Doesn't matter. I have it already open. But I always view files. So you end up here at the GitHub page. Uh, two months ago, the update is all recent, so you're kind of excited this is going to work. And it does work in 4.2. It's just been updated for, or 4.1.1 is what I'm using. It's also just been updated 4.2. And so it's like, oh, cool, I'll get it. But then you get it, and if you are like me and you're an idiot about node structure and you're an idiot about, well, you want to know how it works. How do you set it up to start using it? This website doesn't tell you a damn thing. It gives you this, but we'll get into it. Uh, it gives you this video tutorial, which is not relevant for Godot 4. Um, I did find this original add-on by Vinny here. So let's say you go ahead and you watch this tutorial. If it, it completely 100% is kind of useless because it does all of this in a separate scene. So you can't see the original branch as to what was put there to do this. And that's this video here. Whatever. I, I literally, for weeks, I take a couple hours every week, try to figure out how to do a behave tree in Godot for NBC AI. I did stumble across, this is Vinny. This, this video right here is the one you want to watch because this is the original behave. This is this. Even in the comments, he said, uh, people were saying, you're going to update this for so-and-so version? He's like, just, just use behave. It's the same thing, but that guy updates it. So, why am I kind of upset? Why even am I making this? Because it doesn't tell you. It's a software programmer and or engineer should not write the user manual for their thing because they don't understand that people using their thing are completely ignorant as to how it works. So the programmer made both that, both this video and this manual. And I'm not saying the manual is useless. It doesn't tell you how to get started. That's what my video is for. So let's go to script. The first thing you need to do, and this is me walking through it. I did everything in Sprite, this Sprite 2D first to make this thing work and this is just some crappy little sprite that is doing a uh, facing that and then moving towards it so you start everything off you have sprite 2d you want to add a child node that is behave tree and that's that right there now this is blue this is just this is the class behave so what do you, once you have this everything else you add childs to this so the sequence star composite let's see if it says anything um, sequence composite sequence star composite yeah it just says what it is what the sequence star composite does you notice I have two leafs here. 
the sequence star composite does one leaf and does the other leaf. And that's all that's going on in this. I move in Sprite 2D, I'm for 100 times, I'm moving this little thing around. And then I'm leaving it up to the behavior theory to do the rest. Look at it and move to it. Yeah, so how is... Uh Okay. Yeah. I had to think for a minute. How am I calling that thing? How am I calling it to do the tree? I'm not, because it's event driven. Essentially, this is now sprite sprite two D is now attached to this as an actor. So let's okay, so another problem I had was let's add a leaf. A leaf is like an end action. I, I'm, I think. So we'll just add an action leaf. We'll create that. What's this blue thing here? At tool, at icon, clash, action leaf, extends leaf, uh, the git clash. What, what's this? Because if you watched this video first, he tells you when you add an action leaf, there's nothing there. Maybe in 3.5 there's nothing there, but there is obviously something here. And that threw me. I was stuck. I was like, I don't know what the f*** to do. Two weeks later, I come across this. This guy tells you what to do because he programmed the whole thing. He just took the programmer, forked it off, and kept it up to date. And that's behave. So what you do is you got a blue script. Notice these are white scripts. Now, in the original author's thing, he said, come over here and you do, um, you extend this. Well, that, that doesn't work in Godot 4. You do, you start messing over here. You can really screw this up. This will become a circle. You simply right click on it and you want to choose extend script. Extend script is going to be action leaf. Go ahead. This is what you end up with in the behave video. Just this, which is what it's supposed to be. So a very, very important step was completely missing from the behave author's video. So once you get here, you go. I, I ended up going back to the other author's video. Or no, actually. I went back to the behave videos uh, author's video you have to add a function function tick actor blackboard and then you write your code there so in this case this is the look at position this is kind of a cool little tweak um, this don't move don't move don't move there nope this whole section right here. I got this off of Reddit, and I really wish I could find the post again to congratulate the author for this. This apparently isn't needed in 4.2 since you have a rotate towards command. Um, but I don't want to upgrade to 4.2 because I don't know what's going to break from 4.1. But um, just take a look at this code. What it does to do a tween rotation is it just does a it, it saves it saves a location you do your 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 look at right there it saves that location and then it it puts the rotation back to the original location so you're looking back in the original spot and then you do a in Godot 4 a tween tween property actor actor replaces self uh, in these in the behave tree because the actor the self is now an actor of this tree um, uh, you want to do the property rotation degrees because you're doing rotation degrees up here and this is rotation wanted because you want this rotation and this is the speed and then you do a tween play this right here took me another day to figure out 
how to tween a rotation in Godot 4.1. And then once I had that, I had a regular um, I was using a sequence composite and it would play this but it wouldn't play the move that I linked underneath and that got me back into the videos and I actually started understanding what the videos uh, the original author's video well not the original I actually understood what this manual was talking about. I understood a heck of a lot more about this video. I still went and watched all of this video, but instead of only this making sense, all of this made sense because I, I knew how to start all this. I knew how to begin. So I believe it was from this video, I ended up changing my sequencer, my sequence composite, to a sequence star composite. I looked on the manual first and was a little confused about what exactly it did. The video, the Behave Authors video actually said it will take every action leaf and go right through them. So what, what this does is it rotates and then this moves. This I didn't know what it was going to do, so this is just a copy of the rotation code in case I needed it. And this was just creating a ver tween equals get tree create tween. You're doing that here to also for this. I haven't seen any problems about it. And then it's going to tween property actor. Again, actor replaces self inside the behavior tree. You're doing the position. You're going to the marker 2D position. That's actually a Sprite 2D, but I, I started as a Marker 2D, renamed it a Sprite 2D so I could put a Sprite in it so I knew where it was on the screen. And you're going to go there at 0.5 speed, and then you're going to play it, and you're going to return a success. I'm not going to go any further into this, because this is the point I realized how all of this functions, how I can use this manual, what all of this, all, what all of this stuff means because I was able to start. And that's the point of this video. I hope this helps other people into to wanting to do behavior trees in Godot using a very good add-on for it, but with no information about how to actually work to start the add-on. Everyone have a great day.